Now, arguably the most powerful feature of NoteHub is its ability to route data from fleets of note card devices to virtually any cloud application. Which cloud applications? Well, the big clouds of AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud are all supported. Services that expose a RESTful HTTP or HTTPS endpoint, including webhooks, are an option as well. This does include popular IoT platforms like Datacake, UbiDots, and Losant, among many others. Now, NoteHub can also route data to an MQTT broker, and there's even specialized routing options built into NoteHub to support Snowflake, ThingWorks, sending notifications via Twilio, posting to a Slack channel, and using the Edge Impulse Ingestion API for remotely adding training data to a machine learning model. Whatever your cloud endpoint, NoteHub has a routing solution for you. Now today, we're gonna walk through the basics of routing our first data through NoteHub. And later on, you can build on this by following a specific tutorial path and route data to a real cloud platform. Let's start by heading to webhook.site, which is a free service that will let us see the results of routing data out of NoteHub. Copy the unique URL provided here, and let's head back to NoteHub. In your NoteHub project, navigate to the route section, click to create a route, and choose the general HTTP HTTPS request response route. Name the route whatever you like. I'll just call it webhook and paste in the URL that we have from webhook.site. That's actually all we're gonna set for now. So let's hit create route to save the route. Now, assuming you've been following the blues quick start, you should already have notes called sensors.qo coming in at a regular cadence in your NoteHub project. In fact, since the route was created after we already had these sensors.qo notes coming in, we can head right back to webhook.site and see these newly routed events appear. We can then go in and inspect the JSON that was sent from NoteHub. Now that was all nice and easy. Let's see how we can go in and customize this route. All right, back in NoteHub, let's go and edit the route we just created and scroll down to the filters section briefly. This is where you can limit which fleets can route data as well as which note files you want to route. It's especially useful to specify which single note file or multiple note files you want to route, especially as you usually don't want to route literally everything that comes from the note card. In our case, we'll just route sensors.qo. Finally, at the bottom, I want to call out the transformation section. This is a really powerful feature of routes, and I want to specifically speak to the JSONATA transformation option. JSONATA allows you to transform JSON on the fly, meaning, you get JSON data from your note card, and you can use functions to perform calculations on data, add logic, combine data elements, remove extraneous data, really anything you want to do using the JSONATA language. I recommend checking out this article on blues.dev to get the most out of using JSONATA. So let's write a relatively simple JSONATA expression by reducing what is sent to webhook.site to just the temperature and humidity data, along with the location of the cell tower that was used, and a timestamp. I find the most useful place to start when building my JSONATA expressions is with the JSONATA exerciser at try.jsonata.org. Let's go ahead and paste the full JSON from a sample note that we want to transform. So I'm going to go back to NoteHub and just grab the full JSON from one of my events, head back to the exerciser and replace it all with that. Now the expression I'm going to write I've got it pre-coded already, and I'm going to paste it in here, and we can walk through what's actually happening here. In this example, we're getting the temperature and humidity from the body element, and we can concatenate the tower location and tower country into a new location field, and then we're adding the timestamp based on the when parameter from our JSON, resulting in a very clean, lean, new JSON payload. Now let's go ahead and copy this JSON out expression back in to NoteHub. We'll go back to our webhook route, JSON out expression, and paste that in. Looks great. Let's apply those changes. Now, with those sensors.qo note files continuing to be sent to our NoteHub project, we can then navigate back to our webhook.site tab and see the newly transformed JSON payload. And here we go. Here's the optimized JSON payload. Okay, those are the basics. Now it's up to you to create a route for your specific use case. Head to the routing tutorial at blues.dev and choose the service or platform you want to use. Follow the instructions provided to build out your own custom IoT dashboard, for instance. And if you run into any issues at all, 
Be sure to ask your questions on our community forum at discuss.blues.io. Thanks.